I would love it if all that weight was right here and I could take this off would not have to worry about dismantling the whole thing. I can see there's water dripping out of it, so I'm pretty sure water's gotten inside it too. I noticed there was water in that door while I go. It's water's heavy. Let's try a screwdriver. Uh, on that door, Let's see what happens. Seems like I might have taken that door off once before and looked in there. I can't remember. In there to see. Go we'll take a look though. You know, this thing might be just full of old wet insulation. Uh, and if this insulation had gotten wet, that would weigh a lot. I wonder if I can get that off without cutting this thing apart. Like, I wonder if I could pull it out through this hole. That would be, that'd be kind of nice to save the integrity of the old piece. If I could do that. Uh, I think I'll put some gloves on and get me a crowbar and start trying to reach in behind that. <coughs> you tell right away that ain't stuff you want to breathe much. I wear some of my new gloves for this. Yeah, this is what I find for crowbar. <coughs> I think I'll go get another little trailer that I've got that hooks to the lawnmower and use it to throw this insulation in because that's fiber insulation. It wouldn't hurt the environment if I threw it off in a hole on the back of the property somewhere. So, I think this thing is going to have us, this stuff shoved up in it, <coughs> up inside of both sides. Probably the best way to get it off is to go ahead and cut it. What I could do is just cut it up here across the top and down the bottom get all that out and then push this back and weld it back in place. That might be so much better than what I'm trying to do here so far. Uh, and I got the stuff to do it with right here. It doesn't take that long. Take it off. I might be able to pull that stuff out of it. I think what makes it so heavy is it's got this gigantic big old box in the back and I'm guessing this is going to be some pretty heavy metal in that it looks like maybe a I don't know heavy box anyway 
maybe that should come out I mean it looks nice inside there but it's got some weight to it apparently huh. I got this off so I can get this insulation out anyway <clears throat> I guess that will let me see how to get that box out too. Oh, joy. I'm gonna back my trailer up and pull the rest of this stuff out, I think. Ice box in here that I'm trying to ease out. I think uh, Luke wanted that. I think he kind of liked the, uh, the looks of it. Try to get it out in good order so I can let him have that. I might want to put some of his cars in there or something. Should have made it a lot lighter. Huh? Yeah. Now the next heaviest thing left that we probably will want to use is the door. It's probably the same side. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that apart. I may have to cut it apart like I did this. But let's start. Let's sweep all this stuff up and get it out of here. Big ball of fire. Kind of itchy. So I just sent Luke a picture of that. Oh, joy. Now I've got probably the best thing is uh, I've got. Let's see. Is that a four lug or five lug? That's a four lug. I got two of these four lug spindles right here. And that trailer out there is four lug, but I'd, I'd like a five lug wheel on there because I'd like to put some kind of Chevy wheels on this thing or some kind of spoke wheels or something. Let's see, uh, this axle here, not this one, but there is one right here. What is that? That's stuck on something, but that's a five lug axle right there. That might be a Chevy wheel pattern. And I think these wheels came off of it. I seem to remember they were Chevys, but they could be Fords. But if I wanted to use some of my fancy wheels on it, having a five wheel, five lug pattern there would be just a thing. Now this one here, that I borrowed the springs out of, I got spindles to go on it. I think somewhere I know I got them somewhere in fact I know where they are they're in these wheels when I went to take these wheels off I couldn't get the lug nuts off and that's a five lug spindle right there with an old Goodyear tire on it both of these have that's still on there so somebody 
I don't remember for some reason they may have welded the lug nut onto this one but I need to I need to I need to probably cut these lug nuts off of here drive them out and put new ones in it but that would work take that axle it's kind of a heavy axle though this one is a lot lighter it may have some kind of brake that little tiny disc thing there may be some kind of a little trailer brake see this is a little heavier a good bit heavier axle you can tell by the size yeah, by the size of these spindles that's good that's a good size spindle right there if you can see it enough you can for the shadow or not so i think i will not use these four lug spindles i'm gonna dump this stuff 